Right then, hello everybody. In this episode, we're going to rig this car here. Comment below if you know what car it is. I've just made it and I need to be able to use it for the next episode. I need, I want him to do the intro. So in order to do that, we need to rig it because I need to be able to move it, yeah? So, what's the first thing we need to do when we're rigging? We need to organize all our layers because if you look at this look it's an absolute mess so what we need to do is make sure one can you see this icon here this asset browser one we need to make sure we turn that off so we'll clear the asset and that makes it so i haven't got 15 of them across five different cars you know what i mean so far we've got a folder with the alloy wheels in it should we rename so we've got our wheels and what we need is some more folders so if we need to click a new collection and it'll bring up another one here because we right clicked on this one it's basically copied the name as well so another one another one rear left <clears throat> what we can do with these four folders now is is drag them into this one here look no we drag it into this one and it'll make them all their own you know what i mean tidy it up so what we need to do now is if we go for the body we need to get every single piece that would be the body and put it in the body folder yeah pretty simple at the same time, we need to make sure we delete things we don't need, like this one. This one's like a backup, you know what I mean? Just in case it didn't work. So I can delete that one. And if we select all of them using the shift key, like that, top one, press shift, click that one, and get them all. And we just drag them into the body like that. And then there's some more down here as well. So if we drag those into the body and the mouth into the body, and the window sticker so now we have everything that would be considered the body in the body so if we click this one look we can see it all disappears we can also see that the background's mixed in with that so if i look for the plane this one is it this one yep and we just drag that one and put it in the main area the scene area and we should be able to now turn off this there we go look so we've got a body in its own little folder and it's purely for ease of access you know what i mean if you want to select everything if we click on it and then we put select objects it will select every single thing in that folder uh, if i click this one here look show overlays it'll show you all the like little relative lines so we can see now that we've got every single thing selected if you press shift and just click on one thing so it goes yellow you'll be able to do things yeah so we've got our body we need to do the same thing now for the wheels. We need to separate them all out into front, right, front, left, yeah? But we have a problem. One, it's in an empty. We need to get them out of this empty. This empty is unnecessary. So what we need to do is select all of them again. And then if we press Alt and then P, you'll get this menu where we can clear the parents. Now, you want to clear and keep the transformation because you've likely moved them and stuff. So if we click clear and keep transformation, it removes them from this empty here. So what we can do is delete that empty now. Yeah, super simple. What might be worth doing as well is just renaming these as well. So if we click rear wheels, nuts. It's laborious, but necessary. Now, as you can see, each one of these has got a mirror on it. Yeah. So what we need to do is make them all individual. So if we start by turning off the body so we can see a bit better, where's the body, that one. So if we turn the body off, what we need to do is make all of these their own individual layers, yeah? So what we need to do is bring up our box here and we go to the modifiers. We can see we've got a mirror modifier. What we need to do in object mode, it's in integral in object mode, yeah? Otherwise this won't work. You press apply. And now when we go into edit mode by pressing tab or selecting it here, if we press all, we can see that we now have vertices on both sides as opposed to being a mirror, yeah? So what we need to do, if you press Alt and Z, so we can see through, we need to select one of the sides, yeah? We've selected all of those vertices. And the a big trick here, what we need to do is press P, yeah? And what that'll do is separate those vertices into a new selection. Very useful tool this is. So press P and then press selection. And what we can see here is we have two sets of wheel knots, yeah? Perfect. So we need to now identify which side's which, yeah? So this one is the front right. I always do it by 
if I was sat in the car, that's my left and right, yeah? Rather than if I was facing the car from the front. Now if press enter, and we do the same on this one, left front. Now we need to do that across the tyre, the wheel, and then the back as well. So, shall we do a little time lapse? Because you get the idea, don't you? So if we select our tyre, it's the same thing again. Press apply, go into edit mode, select those ones, press P, press selection, then you've got two difference. Same again, if we go into object mode so we can see which one, and then rename them. So I'll quickly time lapse and do that for all of these wheels. So once we've finished that, we've got all these layers here. And what I can see is the brakes and the calipers are missing. So we need to go and find them because they also need to be a part of this. So if we turn on the body and we click on it and we click on the caliper as well, it'll help us find it in the list. So we can see we've got these two here. These two need to come up into the wheels. So if we drag them in there like that, and then we do the same for the rear, that one and that one. And we drag them into the wheels. We can then turn the body off, give our computer a break, and we can do the same again, but for the wheels, yeah? You can see a bit of texture error there, but I'll discuss that in a later episode. It's an easy fix. So if we do the same again, you will find it super annoying doing the front left, front right, because your brain just freezes, basically. Don't be upset. Like I say, it's a laborious task, but once it's done, it's done. Really nuts. Why can't we see them? So we've got a problem here, look. We can't see our wheel nuts. So if we press G and X, it's basically because the rear wheels are probably poking out a little bit more. So if we look at that one and then inspect this one, you can see, yeah, not, not the best color. If we switch to this color and turn that off, there we go, we can see it a bit better. So if we go in and just boop them in a little bit like that. It's not super important. I mean, it's like calipers, look. My calipers are rubbish, but you really don't see them. It's like the brake discs. Just make them basic, you know what I mean? Nobody's looking at them. If you're doing your super high-res like pictures, then go for it, but this is strictly for animation purposes, so if it's not seen, I don't build it, you know what I mean? But we can finally marvel at all our layers look we've now got our wheels sorted what we need to do now is separate these wheels into the relative like so after many moons many moons as in i'd slap blender if it was sat next to me we have four tires so we now have a body in its own folder that we can turn on and off and we have wheels all in their own folder that we can turn on and off we can delete these because I'm an idiot and we can make a new collection just to chuck in any scene stuff just to tidy it up. That's how I like to do it. And then you can just easily turn them all off. Yeah. The next job we need to do is origins. So then, the next thing we need to do is sort the origins out. Now, what is an origin? It's basically your axis of rotation. I believe that's what it's called. It's basically a point in space that you dictate that the rotation centers upon, yeah? And that's the origin. So what we need to do is change all the origins of the wheels so that it's in the center, basically. So when we rotate them, it'll know where to rotate it, yeah? So I'm going to focus on this in deep intellect because a lot of people have trouble with the wheels. Like, you get wobbly wheels, stuff like that. So it's all about finding the true center and establishing your origins. So the first thing we probably should discuss is we've got all these separate objects, haven't we? Now, three of these realistically should be one, no, four. What we need to do is combine them all together. I personally, as an ex-mechanic, don't understand why you need to have your brakes separate in rig a car because they're technically bolted to the wheel, are they not? So they're always going to rotate exactly the same as the wheel. So it might as well just be all one layer, shouldn't it? So shall we join them? So if we select the wheel, then press shift, select the tire and select the brake disc, we can then press control and J to join them all together. It might take a while, but eventually everything will turn yellow. A key tip for this joining technique is make sure your mouse cursor is over your window, because if it's over this window, Control J doesn't work and 
I've had it before on live stream, and I'm going, what's going on? It took me 10 minutes to realize that it was just my mouse that wasn't over. You know what I mean? Good tip. So we need to repeat that process now for all the other wheels. So should we do a quick time lapse? So just to repeat, select an object, hold shift, select the other one, select that one, and make sure you select the wheel knots. Press Control J, wait, and then everything turns yellow. If, you, if you've noticed, I didn't do that for the front wheel, so we need to make sure that the wheel knots are also part of the wheel. So I press Control J, and there we have it. They're all joined together. So let's do, I'll do the other two wheels off camera. Right then. So now we've joined all our stuff together and made one layer. What we can do now is think about our origins. We're going to ignore the caliper for now. This is something I do at the very end, like just ignore your calipers for now. So what we need to do is we need to find the center of this wheel, don't we? So if we select the wheel and press tab to enter edit mode, we can see we've got all this, haven't we? So what we need to do is we need to find the center of this wheel. Now it's quite simple because it's a circle. So if we press three and we select that middle there, look, you can safely say that we are, if we're in the X axis like this, you can safely say that is exactly in the middle, can't you? So what we can do now is press shift and S and it brings up this menu here. This is your menu for your 3D cursor. And what we need to do is put that cursor to our selected area. So if we press cursor to selected, you'll notice it appears in the middle. Yeah, super simple. So what we can do now is back out, press tab, go back into object mode, and we can right click, and we can now set the origin to the 3D cursor. So if we click this, we, our origin is that you can't see it, but if we click on options up here and we click origins, like so we can see the origins, you can see this slight weird thing here is exactly in the middle of our thing. And it's saying Y is forward, X is that way and Z is up, so it's technically correct. Now, on the next wheel, I'm gonna show you like a problem solve. Sometimes these origins will be all out, like the Z will face backwards and the X will face down the Y, etc. you know what I mean? And the problem with that is, is this. If we select the wheel, what we need to first do is press Control and A, and we need to apply the scale, the rotation, and the location. So what we can do is just click all transforms. This will correct all the directions. You can see it here, look, it's pointing that way, the correct way, the correct way, yeah? So if you're having issues there, you need to apply all your transformations first, but it's not something I, I have problems with anymore. You get used to just setting it all the time. So if we do the same again, should we try and do a quick one? So if we press tab, press three for faces, click the middle, press shift and S, Put cursor to the little little elected, press tab to exit, right click, set the origin to 3D cursor, and it's that easy. So we need to do this now for each wheel. I'll do the other two wheels off camera again. So there we go. We've got all four wheels with their origins set correctly. If you notice, they're all facing the same direction. We have successfully set the origins for our wheel. The next thing we need to do is set the origins for our car. Now this one's super easy and that's why I left it till last. So what we can do is click on the body, right click it, and put select objects. And it will select every single thing in that folder, our body folder. This is why we did the folder thing at the beginning. Now if you look, the origins are all over the shop. And this is where applying your transformations is necessary. So if you remember, press Control and A and apply all the transforms. And as you notice, they've all gone to the same point which is in the world origin. Yeah, awesome. So what we need to do now is find the center of this car. So if we press tab, but what I like to do, because if, if I press tab then on every single layer, it would probably break the computer. So what we're gonna do is realistically, we only need the body, you know what I mean? So if we just select the body for now, press tab, we we'll go in and we press A to select everything, then press shift and S and put the cursor to the selected, it'll bang it in the middle. And it looks like we're already we're already there. So what we can do now is back out and just oh it isn't oh it isn't. So if we set the origin to the 3D cursor, it moves back here now. Look now we have a successfully set origin. But can you see the mistake? We've only set the origin on the body. So what we need to do now is click body and select all the objects and then do that again. So if we press right click, set origin to 3D cursor again, 
it will set every single one to the same. Yeah? Awesome. So the next step, I believe, is creating a rig. In order to create a rig using an add-on called Rigger Car, which you can find for free online, just Google it, we need to first go to Preferences, and we need to go to our add-ons, and we need to search for Rigger Car. And as you can see, it's not installed. So if we click on the Install button, so now we've installed it, using the install, find wherever it is and just click on it. You don't need to unzip it, just click on it. We can now see we've got our option here, look. And it's worth noting, I'll put his name on the screen, that there was issues with Blender 4.0 and Rigger Car. It didn't work. There was a couple of coding issues. And a very top bloke called Juan, I believe his name is Juan, I'll post his on the screen now. He, he's amazing and he fixed it within like a month kind of thing. And this is why Blender's amazing. The community is so willing to just make this work you know what i mean it's awesome but anyway if we click rigger car you'll notice it's just installed we can now close this if we press shift and a for adding we should now see in our armatures we have a car deformation rig so if we click this we can see five bones and if we click this box here we can bring up a load of data now what you can do is you could change things like you could have say like these vehicles with two sets of wheels on the back you could have like two sets there, etc., and you could do all the brakes and things. But I never understood this because it's like a brake is bolted to the wheel. Why does it need to be separate? You know what I mean? So just ignore that. You really don't need to mess with it. But I do believe this is the wrong way around. I don't know why it is, but this rig is technically the wrong way around. So what we need to do, so I like to look at it. I like to look at these bones like an arrow. You know what I mean? If you was to draw an arrow, so we get the, if you was to draw an arrow, You'd do it like this, wouldn't you? And this is how I remember it. Forward is always the chunky end, you know what I mean? Like if it was a human, that would be its head, you know what I mean? And it'd stand up like this, you know what I mean? Hi, hi. You know what I mean? And this is how I remember these things. So what we need to do, I believe, I hope I'm correct, is <laughs> flip this round. So if we just click on this and we put rotate 90. Nope escape what we need to do is turn off our origins because when you've got origins turned on you can only modify the origins yeah so we need to turn it off in order to actually do this so if we rotate the z 180 degrees it'll go the other way yeah press enter probably worth applying that as well so if we apply all the transformations now we can work on this car and uh, it's very important that it's an exact science this is it's you can't not get it exactly right you know what i mean it's very important so so the first thing we need to do is we need to click our wheel and we need to put the cursor to the selected now you can do this in object mode but if if you haven't got that selected there you won't be able to do this in object mode you'll have to go in and do it through edit mode yeah but because we've selected them all and done the origins it's okay we should be able to just set it so now the 3d cursor is in the middle we can then click on the rig, press tab, go into edit mode. Make sure that this button's selected the X because it'll do half the work for you. We want exactly the same on the other side, don't we? So now we've done that, we can click on that, this one here. And if we press shift S and put the selection to the cursor, boom, you will see the bone will go exactly in the middle. And that's exactly how we need it to be. And it's mirrored it on the other side as well. Look, lovely, jubbly. So if we click the X axis and we look here, I can see why the rig's back to front now. That's minus X. This car's facing the wrong way, but we'll see how it goes. It should be okay. But what we need to do now is press Alt Z so we can see through. Why can't we see through still? What? Why does it not see through? So what we need to do, <coughs> we got it. Yeah, we got it. You need to click the ball on the end. You can't see it. And uh, it's too. T uh, what we need to do is click that ball on the end and then press G and Y and pull it in because it cannot exceed the tire. Yeah. So if we just pinch it in, it should do the same on the other side. Yep, it has. And we need to do that again for the rear now. So if we press tab, go back out, click on the rear, press shift S, cursor to select it again. It's gone in the middle. Now if we select the rig, press tab, click on the bone, shift S, and then put the selection to the cursor, click on the ball at the end, square yourself off, and press G and Y. Pinch her in, jobs are good. It's really that simple, really. Now, I'm sure you've guessed it. If we press tab, click on the body, and shift S, 
cursor to selection again, we've got to do the same for the body. So press tab, click on the objects and press shift selection to cursor like that. And we need to obviously do the same for this here. So if we press G and a Y, there we go. And we've just booped it inside the car. I still don't understand. Let's have a go in it. If we press Alt Z, there we go. We can see them all now. That's why we couldn't see. Yeah, so all our bones are in our cars now. That dictates the center of the car. So it'll rotate around there. You know what I mean? If you'd stretched it all the way to the front, it, it don't work. You know what I mean? So yeah, we have an origin there. So now we've done this, what we need to do <coughs> is show you a tip. Right then, so if you, a quick tip, if you click on car rig and come down to here to the data, you can click on in front, then you can see everything. <laughs> It's, probably should have told you that first, but I'm just so used to doing it, you know what I mean? So now we've done this, what we need to do is tell the computer that all these wheel objects are relative to this bone here, which means we need to parent them to that bone effectively, you know what I mean? Give ownership to that wheel and that bone. And in order to do that, we need to now go into pose mode. We click on pose mode like that. You can get in here with uh, control and tab. Press Control and Tab, you go into Object Mode, and then you go back into Pose Mode. If you press Tab on its own, it'll take you to the Edit Mode. Yeah, very useful this. So now we're in Pose Mode. We need to reveal, open up all, all our things. <clears throat> and what we need to do is find the front wheel. No, let me spin it around. Can you see it's selected there? It's probably better in this view, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got that one selected. In Pose Mode, we need to select the wheel, which is that one, and then we need to press Shift and click on the bone, yeah? Make sure no other bones are selected. And once we've done this, it, ta it can be funny to do this, by the way. So you have to select the object through this menu here, and then you have to select the bones through this window here, yeah? Because technically we're in pose mode, which is like a mode for these bones, and it just don't like, you, you, you can't really select these objects in pose mode, yeah? So if you're having trouble, it's probably because of that, yeah? What we need to do now, now we've selected all these, is press Control and P. And we're not parenting it to an object anymore, we're parenting it to the bone, aren't we? Yeah? So if we click bone, if we select this bone now and press G, that whole wheel moves with that bone. Perfect. So if we do that again at speed, we select that wheel there, and then press shift and select the bone, control P, press enter, press G to test, always test it, and then press the right click button just to Put it back in the middle, yeah? Now we need to do this for the rear wheels and this one here, yeah? So I'll quickly show you the body. We select all the objects, and then press Shift, select the bone, Control P, press Enter, press G to test it, yeah? And we go. I'll quickly do the back ones. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so now we've parented all our bones to our objects, we can now look at, let me just quickly find where it is, there we go. In data, and we come down to rigger car, we have this menu here called Generate. If we click it, now this is a moment of truth and there probably should be a drum roll. Don't be upset if this doesn't work. You, you do find that you have to do it three or four times and weed out any bugs. So if this works, I want you to like and subscribe because it will blow my mind if it works. So ready? Three, two, one, Generate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? So it doesn't always work, you know what I mean? So we've got to figure out now what's going off there, yeah? So if we press Undo, we now need to figure out what in our here went off there. So, should we go back into object mode? And this is kind of why I'm doing the long format one, because I want to show these issues happening. My next issue is we rotated this whole rig, didn't we, to the other way around. Now, I'm wondering if I shouldn't have done that. So, what we can try and do is select everything, rotate it 180 degrees on the Z, and apparently we can't do that because everything's parented up. So if we just click the car rig and rotate 180 degrees on the Z, we can rotate it the other way around, can't we? Yeah? Should we try that? No, it goes the other way. Why is it turning upside down? This is a new one on me, actually. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start over. This is something that you also need to accept with the rigger car. One, it's a piece of shit. Two, you're probably going to have to retry it three or four times. Don't get upset, and this is why I'm filming it, because this is how Rigger Car actually works. It's, it's free, so it's going to be a piece of shit. You're going to have to put some effort in and figure it out. But as a result, you will come out at the end as a more knowledgeable 3D operator. Yeah? 
So I'm going to now try off camera, I'm going to delete this rig. So if we basically select everything, all of everything, and press Alt and P, we can clear the parent and the transformations, which then means if we select the rig, we could just delete the rig and it doesn't affect anything. Yeah. So if we press Shift S, nope, if we press Shift A, and we add a new cart deformation rig, we can see it's facing that way. So, and I noticed up here as well, the X is on the wrong side. Even though the Y is the right way, technically we should be facing this way, but that car needs to be facing the other way, you know what I mean? Which means forward is minus Y, which don't make sense. So I'm wondering if Blender 4.0 has changed these around, you know what I mean? Because I've I always remember building cars facing this way, always. And I always had that X on the front. So I think this is what the issue is. Quite a simple thing. So what I'm going to do now is try and match up to this rig. Yeah. So if we click on a car and select objects, rotate the Z 180. Like that. You can see it absolutely knackers everything up. So if we escape, um, the, the way to solve this is quite simple, really. What we need to do is press Shift A we need to add an empty doesn't matter which one I always go for a cube just so I can see it and what we need to do is select this car and then we need to parent it to this empty here so if we press ctrl and p parent to the object and what that does is it basically encapsulates all the data into, into this cube so that we can just move this cube 180 degrees on the z-axis and it turns around yeah obviously you notice that turns the rig as well so we need to correct that Undo. So if we get the rig, so if we click this, press Alt and P, clear the transformation and keep the thingy majiggy, and then we click on this, we take the Z 180 degrees, <clears throat> we can now see that our rig is facing the right way. Yeah. So let me quickly just repeat that process again. We'll try again. Yeah? All right then. So. I've reapplied, I've done it, everything all over again. Basically, we're up to the point where we need to click generate again. So, three, two, one, E. See, it's working better now. So, you have to match the way the deformation rig comes into Blender. Yeah? Now, at the minute, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. There seems to be like a couple of errors, but I know how to fix them. So, we're golden. We're sand, lads, we're sand. <laughs> so, if we just test everything put into this view now. I'm experiencing a lot of issues with Blender lately. Just funny little things that are like, what, why is that like that? You know what I mean? Well, what I like to do is just test everything. If we just test the steering, yeah, it seems to be doing its job. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. If you press Alt and G, it will reset anything that you've done, yeah? So if we just test the suspension, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Lovely, jubbly. The next thing we need to also test is... There's a menu that comes up with rig car here. And in order to make your wheels move, you have to make sure you click on wheels on the Y. Wheels on the Y axis. So if we click this one, yeah, and we click the base bone, which is this one, and we press G and Y, we can see our wheels are moving. This is fantastic. That's exactly what we want, yeah? So I would consider this a successful rigger car. Now, you're obviously looking at it going, what? It looks like a piece of shit. Oh, <laughs> And it's basically, can you see all these? We need to correct all of these. And this is kind of what like the issue with Blender 4 was. It was like messing all these things up. If you did this in Blender 3.6, you wouldn't, you, honestly, you wouldn't have any issues. But I know how to fix this anyway. So if we now go, to, if we close these up, so it's a bit tidier. Yeah? We want these, our rigger car widgets. And we need to be able to turn on the edit editability. So if we click that one, uh, we, don't, we don't need those two. We just need to be able to adjust them, yeah? So if we press Control and Tab and go back into object mode, we should be able to now click on things. So if we, I'm going to turn everything on just because, yeah, we can click on everything. Now, it can be funny trying to find the one that you want. I do believe this is called the base, uh, the ground sensor. So if we press this one now, this one's different. But we do need to adjust the ground sensor, definitely. I know what the issue is. If you look, the car is not sat on the deck. We've found the problem. So if we press undo until the rig disappears. Undo, 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 undo. Right then, so we're back to square one, aren't we? Looking at this, I know exactly why it's gone wrong. 
Where's my car rig? We need to pull this car rig and put it into the scene collection so that we can close all of these boxes because they're just annoying. Uh, what in the heel has gone off there? We need to put them all back into the car. We want just the car rig. Put it in the scene selection like so. It's just a lot easier to work with now, yeah? Now, uh, when you've selected the car rig, you should be able to move it. So if we press G, apparently it won't let us move it because we're in pose mode. So if we go into object mode, click the side view, and we press G, the whole thing should move. Apparently it doesn't. Why does it all move? All right, I've undone it too many times. So if we go back into... So if we go into object mode and keep it on the X, and we select the car rig and press G to move it, the whole car will move low. Apart from the calipers, which is quite annoying. It's not a problem. I always leave calipers till the end anyway. So what we need to do is make sure those wheels are above the Y line, I think. I think that's what the issue is here. If we press generate now, technically, that might fix it. And it doesn't. Ugh. Now, what the problem here might be is that we didn't apply the transformations, did we? So if we press G and move her up like this, you want it just bob on the line, don't you? About there. And then what we need to do is apply all the transformations. And that, that might solve it. So if we click generate, there we go. We've fixed it. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. So what the problem there was is this green line here is technically a floor, isn't it? You know what I mean? And we was below the floor. And this base plate here is clearly using the floor as a reference, is it? Isn't it? Even the, the ground sensors. So it would make sense. So if you have that issue, that's what's going off with it. Yeah. So if we quickly do a test, yeah, we're groovy. We're absolutely groovy. I don't need to adjust anything on this. That's fantastic. I hope this helps you with all your issues because like I say, it's not a true science this is. It makes it up as it goes along kind of thing. But what we do need to do now is sort these calipers out, don't we? Like these pesky calipers. Should we try and move them all at once and just bob them back in there? Like that? I think that's good. Yeah, sad. Now, there's a little trick for this now, these calipers. This was this is a very <laughs> it's one of them things you're gonna have to learn it because your calipers will just start spinning around basically. So we've got all our calipers, aren't we? What we need to do now is we need a modifier on it and it needs to be a limit rotation. Maybe an object constraint actually. It is. So we need a object constraint and we need a limit rotation. And we need to limit the X rotation, which is this one here. Yeah? So if we click X Ah, and we do this for every single one. Uh, constraints, add an object, limit rotation, and limit the X. That one. Limit rotation on the X. Now, now we've limited the rotation, we also need to basically parent these calipers to this wheel. So if we select the caliper, then press shift, and then select, the yellow one will be the parent, yeah? And the orange one will be the child of the parent. You must remember that if you click it this way round, it, it's not going to work. So make sure that the yellow one is your parent, which is the wheel. And if we press Control and P and parent the object, in theory, when we move it, let me just quickly get over there. When we move this now, there we go. Wheels aren't rotating on the old Y. So if we press G and the Y, you'll notice it's not working. <laughs> it's going all over it, shop lad. Now, the issue, what's happening there is, let's figure it out. So what the issue here could be is origins. So if we press apply all transformations and put the cursor to the selected area there, and then we set the origin to the 3D cursor, will this sort it? So the issue with that was, is we'd not applied our transformations and we'd not set our origins, yeah? It's all simple stuff and it always boils down to the same things every single time. So now we can, now we know this, we can apply that to the rest of the wheels, yeah? Or click on the wheel so that we can get a center, cursor to the selected, it's not working, so we've got to go in, press it again, cursor to selected, then tab back out, click the caliper, press Control and A, apply all the transformations, and then press right click and set the origin to the 3D cursor, yeah? Can you see it? Did you see it move then, yeah? You know what I mean? So this is how you fix your wheels, basically. So let me just quickly do the other two. There we have it, a fully rigged 
car. That actually went quite well that day. We had a couple of issues, didn't we? But we figured it out. And this is the thing, you can't give up. It's annoying. It, it, you can get really annoyed, but... In the end, it's always something basic and silly. And I would like to say it's always, always something to do with your origins. Origins is everything, but nobody teaches it. Nobody. But we have a rigged car. I'm very happy. Now, if you learnt anything from this, feel free, drop a comment. Oh, oh, I back wheels. We've got another issue. This is why I should test everything. So why is that one moving? Control tab, let's click on it. We've got a limit on the Y. Ah, see, this little problem here. <laughs> so we've done our origins, we've done our transformations. Now, we haven't parented this to this wheel, have we? So we've got to now parent them all to this wheel. Press Control P, enter, and do the same for the other two, because I forgot that. We should now have a fully functioning car. Let's have a go. <laughs> do you know why the calipers are not moving? Is that caliper moving? No. I think we're good, we're good, we've got it, we have got it. So, press G and Y, put it there, press I for a keyframe, I don't know whether you're, you're interested in this, but it's quite simple, Pretty keyframe and go to the other end, press G Y, move it forward, press I, and you've got yourself a moving car. Alright. Thanks for watching everybody, like I say, if you've enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe, tell me, if, if you're struggling on anything, just comment below and I'll... I'll look at making a video if I've not already done it. If not, I'll recommend a video I've already done. You know what I mean? Awesome. Thank you for the support, everyone. It's phenomenal. I cannot believe I have got this many subscribers. And the only thing that's failing me now is my watch hours. I make content that is super short, no bullshit. It's just like, press this, do this, do this. And it, under five minutes, you basically finished now this is not condu conducive of success on youtube because they want watch hours so from now on i am no longer making short form content i'm going to hang out with my boys making cool cars and we're, i'm just gonna waffle away like i am right now so if you would like a conversation feel free to comment below <laughs> yeah. But understand, this is why this is the way it is at the minute. If it's too slow for you, don't forget you can click like 1.5 times speed and stuff like that. I find myself watching a lot of tutorials on two times the speed, you know what I mean? Probably defeats the object of like watch time, but you know. I was hoping to like give you, as well, while I'm making it, give you lots of like information and gossip on this car, but it, it, you can't do it, can you? <laughs> but do you know whose car this is? Because he's a pretty cool guy, I think, you know what I mean? And I always wonder, like, as you watch this episode. But that's enough waffling, isn't it? I'll see you in a bit, people. If you've watched all the way to the end, comment strawberry in the comments. Nice one. I'll see you in a bit. There's more videos. Click on them. Lovely jubbly. See you in a bit, people. Bye.